Hey guys, Carl Spateri at Benchmark. Hope you're having a great day. Hey, uh, we're going to talk about 10 reasons why I refer to the reverse mortgage as the retirement mortgage. I get it, asked this question a lot. Is what's reverse mortgage? Why do you call it the retirement mortgage? Well, let's look at 10 reasons. Number one, access to equity, cash, when you need it for any reason. When we do a traditional reverse mortgage, what we get is a line of credit attached to the house. So not only do you not make payments on you what you currently owe, you also have a line of credit that's guaranteed for the life of the mortgage. And since you have no expiration on the mortgage, pretty much for as long as you want it, that line of credit's there. And the banks cannot cancel it like traditional lines of credit. Number two, less independence of RMDs, required minimum distribution. How many of you out there are taking more than the minimum amounts from your retirement accounts and paying additional taxes on it? This is a way to maybe not pay that tax. Number three, possible tax savings. There's, you pay taxes on every dollar you make, right? So if you're taking equity and not making the dollar, possibly there's tax savings for you. I can't tell you that, but, but think about it. It could help your situation. Not li number four, not liquidating your stock portfolio when the stock market is down. I mean, the worst thing we can do, right, is you have X stock and it's down 20%, but you need, you need the money now because you got to pay your whatever, right? Your, your food bill, your energy bill, your property taxes. That's the terrible time to sell. You don't want to have to do that. And the reverse of that, number five, is not liquidating your stock portfolio when the market's up, right? We're on a bull run. Things are going really well. You're making money. Do you really want to sell out of that stock option just to pay your property taxes, right? Things like that is what I want you to think about. Number six, lock in your equity while values are high. We don't know where the values stay at this level. We know that we're, we're that property values are at all time highs right now. Uh, do we know that's going to last? We don't. It could go higher from here. It could go lower from here. You don't know. The economy dictate, dictates where values go. So it's a chance to lock in today's high equity positions in that we have in our homes. Number seven, to possibly avoid taxes on social security payments. Yeah, we all know that if you make X amount of dollars, you have to pay part of, part of your so taxes on that social security income. What if you can avoid that by not making the money and taking the money out of your equity in your home? Just to, again, things to get you thinking about it. Number eight, manage monthly payments to avoid or avoid payments altogether. You can manage your, your mortgage payment. You can pay this month, not pay next month. You know, pay half of it the, the, this month and the, the, none of it or a quarter of it the next month. It doesn't matter. You control the amount of money that you put into your mortgage or make no payments at all. Number nine, you can purchase a vacation or retirement home with no payments possibly, right? What if your home is paid free and clear? You take money out of your home's equity to buy a second home. Do you want a second home? I don't know, but if it's part of your retirement plan, part of your enjoyment with your children, your grandchildren, your significant other, whatever it happens to be, it could be a way to, get, to buy another home that maybe you wanted for a long period of time. And number 10, most importantly, is it improves monthly cash flow. It allows you to control your cash flow, take trips, pay expenses, help family, do whatever it is you want with the rest of your life. Anyway, those are my 10 tips, 10 reasons for the reason we call this a retirement mortgage more of a, as a strategy than a reverse mortgage, which is a product. Thank you very much for your time and uh, reach out with any calls, questions, concerned. Uh, text me, email me, call me. I'd be more than happy to answer. Thank you.